here we are. Today, Otis and I are visiting this delightful home in Birmingham. Hello. Hi. Come on in. Thank you very much. Welcome. Where the energy-conscious Bennett family are, like many, looking to further reduce their carbon footprint and become even more eco-friendly. Well, wow. hello, Bennett. Hello. hello. Yes. First of all, uh, are you a are you a green family? We like to think so, yeah. We like to try our best. We try and minimise the bills where possible. What's the biggest items of waste at the moment? I would say <laughs> probably... <laughs> point yeah, paper. maybe you should answer that. <laughs> Water. Yeah. OK. And then charging stuff. We've got so mm -hmm. many electrical yeah. items as well. So. I think there are bigger issues to tackle. OK, well, may I tackle the water issue first? Yes. Yeah? Thank mm. you very much. You guys, this way. Okay. First stop, the powder room. On average, the cost of heating water in our homes accounts for 13% of our energy bills, and showering takes up nearly a quarter of that. Most of us spend too long in the shower. I mean, it's, it's actually a great place to be, isn't it? It's just really nice. It is, it is nice. Yeah. But we can all use less water, and if we're using less water, then we can make savings. The Hydreo is a smart shower head designed to help reduce the time spent in the shower and therefore water usage. What makes it smart is it's got lights in it and it's connected to an app via Bluetooth. What it's meant to do is change your behaviour. I will demonstrate it now for you. I'm just making sure my bum isn't wet. So you've got green there. The LED lights indicate how much water you've used. 10 litres, it stays green. Beyond that, it cycles through blue, pink and then red to show that you're using too much water. So the object is to stay in the green, yeah. save the whole family money, and then maybe you can negotiate getting some of that money back. Right, that sounds good. Yeah, that yeah. Sounds good. lovely. Two litres already in the time <laughs> I've been talking. As well as real-time feedback, the Hydreo tracks your usage for up to 2,000 showers, so you can monitor your water conservation. And if you are on a water meter, as around half of us are, you'll be saving on your water bill too. So take a look. Have a look at the green lights. Hold it, feel its heat. <laughs> it's Good quite light. nice. We've gone blue, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Gone blue. We've gone blue. So, has the Hydreo been a showering success with Millie and Jess or a bit of a wet weekend? I thought Otis's shower head was fabulous. I don't know about you, but I love the lights. I really liked it. Um, I think it'll save a lot of money. I think that'll be fabulous. <laughs> and you'll have to cut short your showers a little bit as well. Mm. A decent start, Otis, but my eco-gadget addresses much more than simply saving water. And I'm convinced Simon's going to be very impressed with it. Now, if you're concerned on tackling waste, the big area to tackle is heating because it consumes 60% of the average household's energy bills. Our heating bill is probably our biggest bill, so anything we can save on heating, it's a good thing. Aha! Well, here's the Tardo Smart Thermostat. It claims to cut your heating costs by up to 31%. I mean, I know there are many of these things about, but I think this one actually almost covers more bases than anyone I've seen. In fact, Tardo are so confident about the benefits of their product, they'll issue a full refund if you want to hand it back. I installed a master thermostat upstairs on the landing. You control that remotely at the moment. The temperature is 21 degrees up there. We've set it to 23.2, sounds a bit high. Cut that down to 19. Like most other thermostats, Tardo can set up a schedule to control the heating through the day. However, it also has something called geofencing. This works using GPS to determine your location. When you leave the house, Tardo turns off the heating and turns it back on when you're on your way home. The ability to geofence is really useful. And provided all your household members have the app, it'll recognise if anyone's still in. So that can sort of override the schedule you've put in. Not only that, you can also install special thermostats on each radiator to enable different room temperatures. So you can set different rooms to different temperatures? Yes. Which I know you could do with the traditional thermostatic valve, but nevertheless, this allows you to control it all from one app. Okay. And it also takes note of upcoming weather forecasts, and if it thinks there's going to be a lot of sun coming up, it cuts down the amount of heat input so it doesn't overshoot the set temperature. Yeah, I think the weather predictions on the app could be quite useful. It also gives you a report on how much money it thinks you've saved. Oh, good. Okay. For, I mean, it really is one for the heating nerd. Which I am one. Oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, to be honest, I quite like both of them. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Georgie? I thought the shower head was actually very simple, but also very effective. I can yeah. imagine it actually would make you change the way you shower. I quite like the heat thing, because, you know, the heat, different heat in different rooms. Yep. No-brainer. Anyway, let's see what the Bennetts thought of it. Hi, guys. Hi. 
guys, thank you so much for showing us your energy saving gadgets. We love both of them. However, there can only be one winner. And the winner that we've chosen is... The Tardo heating system. Hey, hey John. Hey, yes. <laughs> you won again, wow. and so did Mr. Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the lead so far. George, you're getting left well behind. I know, but I've thought of this, and I've brought my energy-saving gadget along that I oh, could right. maybe convince you now to see if it's any better. Does anyone fancy a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. please. <laughs> How many cups of tea or coffee do you think you have on average a day? Ooh, I'd say about a dozen. Oh, a, dozen? a dozen? Yes. <laughs> Lightweight. What? <laughs> Three? <laughs> OK, so, John, this would definitely save you money at home. Uh, this is the Vectra 4, and the idea is, is that you don't have to boil your kettle as much because it uses vacuum technology to keep your water hot for longer. Huh? So, look, this is really hot, and I boiled this two hours ago. Nice. Ooh, wow. So it stays at 80 degrees for two hours, and it can stay above 60 degrees for four hours, which is hot enough for a cup of coffee. Okay. But this is tea I'm making. You can see how hot it is still. There's steam coming it off steaming. it. steaming. Yeah, so it's like a, like a vacuum flask, but with a heating element in it. Just put the milk in afterwards. Oh, sorry, I always do that. I do You're supposed to put ways. the milk in first so that the hot water doesn't scorch the tea. No, you're so it doesn't crack the porcelain cups. God, you're very fussy. T tough crowd here, tough crowd. All right, grab your cup. I've got socially my Lego distance, on. socially distance. Socially distance cup. Go right. on, Craig, after you. I'll have the little cool cup. Hey. Well, I think it's a champion brew. <laughs> 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 I've won you over by the mug. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not quite tea temperature, is it's it? It's just not hot just enough. Not, just not hot enough. I suppose if you didn't use milk in your tea, I think it could be uh, it could be the right temperature, actually. Yeah, but mm. that boiled water is over two hours old, so that's not bad. Yeah, that's mm. good. I know. All right, I need to think about this. One second. Um, Georgie, mm. I think you would have swung that. <gasps> I think she swung that. Oh, I, I should have kept my mouth shut. That is good.